Let's sing a song full of hurt, full of pain. Why don't you sing along, my friend? For it's our last refrain. Forever young, never strong. Harry, we're ready for our boat. Memories like this never end. No, they don't fade away. So when I'm gone, oh, when I'm gone, I'll be right there. It's you for you. Good morning. It is Monday and I'm literally in my dressing gown because my room is so cold and I also do look like a mess I do look like I've just got out of bed as well this, this morning's been a flat admin day lots of stuff oh I have an Amazon package that I ordered ordered some bits from Amazon um but I do a little unboxing so we have bought the alchemist it says dreams are made to be followed life is meant to be lived some books are meant to be read loved and passed on it's a fable about following your dream and Ed recommended this to me I think I said in last week's vlog I was speaking to Ed who does the a need to read podcast which you guys should go and listen to um, and he recommended this book because I loved a quote that he shared on his story. So he recommended, I bought it, um, and I really have been enjoying reading in the evenings to calm me down before I go to sleep. So my new book of choice. Then I bought some bits for my scrapbook. So I don't really know what I bought, but it was like, it suggested me to get these bits. So we've got a Dymo embossing label maker. I just thought these would look so cool. Cool for my scrapbooking and like captioning and labeling different pieces on my scrapbook. And then I also got loads of tapes in here as well. Red, blue, and the black tape. I don't even know if it's called tape. What would you call this? And then I think I've got some more tapes here or filters or something for it. But it basically suggested me to do that and I really wanted to get something else for my scrapbooking so hopefully that will encourage me to scrapbook more often i'm starting to get a bit of a headache which is not ideal i do also need to shoot some bits but i don't know if i can be bothered today i've got some viewings tomorrow yeah i also need to figure out what i want to do for valentine's day i was thinking me and aiden could like cook me a meal together on zoom um obviously we're gonna have a zoom date because we can't see each other right now but yeah i need to figure out what i'm gonna do for valentine's day with aiden try and think of something fun nice cute and i also need to buy aiden's birthday present because it's his birthday next week and i have no idea what to get him like honestly most of the time like when it gets to his birthday i always want to do something like fun together or pay for an experience or something but I, it's so limiting like what you can do in this situation i just don't want to get him a boring gift like i want it to be fun and something a bit different something that he won't expect i mean by the time this goes up i'll have had to have made a decision on what to get so you'll see that later in the week but yeah anyway i'm gonna get back to some admin bits i think they're most important for me to do today so maybe i can do my shooting the content tomorrow instead or wednesday monday's been a bit hectic but i can't be complaining to be honest because at least i've got stuff to do is it wednesday doing loads of emails to estate agents and landlords and trying to sort out the move situation which yeah i think basically this move has taken about 12 years off my life from <laughs> stressing me out so much but hopefully we're getting closer to sorting everything out I'm just on facetime to ellie down here just literally this cake it's like moist cake with like a buttery cream on top and look at it is it carrot cake no it's like hazelnut and something oh like wow that. i'm very jealous so I'm just gonna have a nice little chat to Ellie because she's also been we've just been giving each other pep talks pretty much the past week. It's actually tragic how like every single day we bring each other on a break. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're like taking it in turns, right? Like to yeah, break like, down every day. I've got my planner out, so I'm gonna just see what I can do today, try and make it productive because I feel like I just I feel like because I'm my time is being consumed so much by like flat hunting and stuff that I'm not actually doing anything I need to do as well. So I'm going to try and make the rest of my day productive. I also have a interview for her name's Kara. It's for her. I think it's a uni project, but she's basically going to be interviewing me about like mental health and stuff. So that'll be interesting and something to hopefully kickstart my productive afternoon. Do you know what? Wish me luck. Do you know what? This is how you know you're having a bad day. When you get out your vibrator and try and have an orgasm, and you still want to cry afterwards, <laughs> I can't even bother to wash it afterwards. 
So I'm just about to head off, grab some bits from the shop and actually send off some Depop bits and also send off some presents. So my friends and stuff that I couldn't get to them for Christmas. We were going to wait until we could see each other, but I think it's just best probably to just send it now because it is way too late. I am so sad and just... I just feel like this week I'm going to be so depressing. So if I don't pick up the camera as much, that is why Like I just feel like so shit and hate life at the minute, um, as I'm sure most of us do. So yeah, just wanted to be real. I literally have been crying all morning, crying all night, and I'm not good. I'm not good. Do something nice for myself a little bit later on once I've got all my work bits finished but i'm just so like just like holding back tears constantly like trying to do shit it's horrible so i've just been on facetime to my boyfriend he has definitely cheered me up and i've got sophia and chintzy are on on the tv and my mum has just told me she's gone and got me my favorite like ready meal from tesco which is the thai green curry so i'm blessed with like so many amazing people to support me so i do i'm so grateful for that um, I think I'm gonna do some like journaling tonight to make me set myself feel better because I didn't do it this morning and maybe that's why I'm so lost. I don't know. However, I'm also so, so grateful to the two lovely girls that run small businesses local to me um, that have delivered some amazing things to me today. Like honestly, I appreciate it so much. So if you're around here, I think one of them actually the first one I'm going to show you delivers deliveries all over the UK, I think. So you can get these delivered if you are wanting to treat yourself or treat someone for Valentine's Day. So we've got this package from The Sweet Tooth. Absolutely obsessed. How amazing. Um, my dad came in this morning with this and I was like, oh my God, I cannot wait. So we've got like all of the sweets. So many like sweets here that give me like major nostalgia. My favourite sweets so ever um, are these. The little um the little mushrooms the little squidgy like mushroom sweets they're my absolute favorites and i do love, love a milk bowl too so i'm very excited to have these i definitely need them after how i'm feeling today so i'm definitely going to indulge in those after dinner and then i also had an amazing delivery from ellie's cakes and cocktails and look how cute is this we've got a package for valentine's day it is so sweet this is ellie's business card oh, sorry about my nails i've literally chewed them to the nub because of how anxious and sad i am so yeah that's a mood and one of the side effects of my depression you know we love to see it but how pretty are these they are decorated so gorgeous and ellie also does cocktails too so definitely go check her out this is ellie's instagram so you can go check out the other stuff that she does but she also does like i said cocktail stuff she does like big birthday cakes go check her out and she is bedford and rushton based i know some of you guys probably live local to me so if you're like bedford rushton based then defo go check her out this is the instagram for the sweet box if you're local you can get free local delivery or you just cover like a small charge if you want it delivered to you across the uk the sweet box that i have is actually one of the large ones and it's got 800 grams of sweet goodness you can get one of the random mixes you can get a little bit of everything or if you you can actually build your own as well so if there's specific sweets you want to avoid and you want more of like a specific your favorite one then you can do that right i am just about to jump in the shower and we have a new product from l'oreal that has just arrived it's the L'Oreal LV Dream Lemps Wonder Water. Um, and it's come in this fancy little box that's popped out. It's got like satin, it's satin cushioned. This is what the product is. It's the eight second Wonder Water. It's a conditioner, long hair transformation. Technology to resurface hair fibers and reflect maximum light. Whatever your hair type, whatever its length, your hair can now outshine, shine Interesting. Very excited about this one. So apply directly to wet hair only massage for five seconds rinse out okay we're gonna actually just take this into the shower with us and see how it performs um very excited thank you very much to l'oreal right so we have actually survived the day i've done my makeup and i have shot content that i've been needing to do for the past four days that i need to send off so love that i also got some prep some stuff for galentine's valentine's so really excited for that i feel like i've got a very vibrant red lip on they're just crumbs and those cakes that I got from Ellie the other day. They are delicious. I didn't even realise they were chocolate cakes. She put like chocolate chips in the actual cake bit. We've got the vanilla icing on top. Oh, honestly, so good. I've just given one to my mum and my brother and they love them too, so. So I'm going to just get on with editing this content and then I've got dad's enchiladas for dinner. That is definitely going to give me a massive pick-me-up. Tomorrow is going to be very busy because I've got more viewings and stuff to sort out tomorrow. So, yeah, please. Oh, God. 
I need to manifest the shit out of the move situation. I feel like everyone underplays like the whole moving stress or maybe we've just had a really bad experience with it. Um, but like I have literally been crying every single day from stress about it. Like I've, my mental health has just been bad. Maybe it's heightened by COVID, I don't even know. But has, if anyone else has moved or even for like just renting somewhere, like we're literally renting somewhere for a year, it has been so much stress and it's literally just like, fucked me fucked up with my mental health so bad but yeah covid probably doesn't help but why does everyone not talk about this or is it just literally i've just had a really bad experience i don't know i don't know but yeah please make me feel less alone if you have had a bad experience trying to find somewhere to rent and like things falling through and not having a great time because yeah it's not it's not great and i just want to be back to my like normal self again because i feel like i've just been like stepped on the face <laughs> uh, and my headaches like i just want a day that is headache migraine free is that too much to ask hey guys so i'm all off and ready to go out early this morning off to go to do some viewings so wish me luck and hopefully by the end of the day we'll have put some offers through and we'll be moving okay so i am um now back after a very successful viewing day like i am so pleased to finally have like a successful positive day so yeah that's a good thing we've placed some offers and hopefully this process will all go through my makeup has all like sweated off my face because i've been like in my mask for i think like nine ten hours so yeah like my this half of my face is my makeup's off and i've got like makeup this half so look a little bit strange i just wanted to say that i've had a nice productive day i've had parcels arrive for some videos that i'm filming um this weekend which i can't wait because they're two of them are challenges with my friends so that is very fun but i have just been stuck in this room for the whole week looking bedraggled and an absolute mess i feel like this week has gone from awful to bad to worse and then it picked up again and something very fucking amazing could be happening tomorrow basically the whole week literally turned from like the worst week like where i was just like crying like horrific week has turned into a really good end i think i don't know basically we're just waiting out to find out tomorrow the final details and we could I think nine days time or something crazy so I literally can't believe this is happening thank you to everyone who has been backing the move and being really nice and supportive because it's literally going to be so amazing for both of us and we're excited to have it all finally hopefully going our way I'm sending you all of the love i am very excited for the videos that i've got coming up in the next few days i've got lots of like fashion challengey sort of videos with my friends i've got one coming up with my brother some valentine's day content like i'm just yeah i'm just in such a good mood now that the week has sort of been flipped around i just really couldn't see myself getting out of the rut that i was in i was just negative crying all the time this is the first day in ages i haven't cried so i'm just gonna praise that moment hope that that carries on because i just it was just draining it was draining me like i was just spending too much of my time doing that and like my whole face is puffy i'm expecting there to be days where i'm upset crying and stuff, shit like that happening it drained all my energy this week because it was just everyday constant and there's other obviously out, outside of the move there's other shit going on in my life that i haven't spoken about on here because it's not like my business to say and just shit got worse in that way too this week so yeah it was just all piled on top of each other it made me really really anxious and depressed and i still am not feeling great like i'm not saying it's turned around and i'm suddenly a fucking little happy bean running about but it's better than how we started the week off so i'm gonna really treasure that today i haven't done my gratitude today so i might do it this evening write what i'm grateful for and have a big de declutter i think because it's looking like we're moving within the next two weeks so the packing vlogs should commence after this fingers crossed thank you all very much for getting to this point in the video because i know this week has been a little bit boring i will see you in the week for some fashion content bye